everyone and welcome to an extra special Christmas edition of the British Motor Museum's Science Sundays. My name's Claire, the British Motor Museum's resident elf, and today I'm here in the museum's very fancy kitchen showing you how to rustle up some festive treats. Today we're going to be making peppermint creams like these. Not only do they make fantastic gifts for your friends and family, but there is some fascinating science about states of matter involved as well. So, let's get cooking. Okay, to make your peppermint creams, you're going to need some equipment. You will need a rolling pin, a pan, a large mixing bowl and a small bowl, a wooden spoon, a set of scales, a tin opener, a teaspoon or measuring spoons, and some festive cookie cutters, although mine are a little bit thick. Then for your ingredients, 225 grams of icing sugar, 115 grams of condensed milk, a couple of teaspoons of peppermint extract to taste, and about 50 to 55 grams of plain cooking chocolate. Now, elfin safety time. Before you start cooking, make sure you wash your hands carefully and always get an adult's permission and supervision in the kitchen. Now, all of this here should make you about 15 small peppermint creams, but if you want to make more, you're going to have to use your math skills to scale up the amounts in the recipe. Okay, first things first, measure out your ingredients really carefully. Now you've got your icing sugar and your condensed milk in a bowl, you need to add a couple of drops of peppermint extract. And then you can start mixing with a spoon, but then it's best just to get in with your hands and start kneading the mixture till it feels a bit like a dough. If it's too sticky, you can always add a little bit more icing sugar. Now you've made your dough, you need to get your icing sugar again and you need to use loads of it on your surface and then you're going to roll it out. So put loads out to stop your peppermint creams from sticking, spread it around, spread, spread, spread and also cover your rolling pin in it, you don't want your rolling pin getting stuck, okay, put the dough on. And then you need to roll it out until it's about five millimetres or a quarter of an inch thick. If it's too sticky, put some more icing sugar on. Okay, then get your cookie cutters. Find in the shape of a Christmas tree or you can go more traditional with a circle and then press them into your peppermint cream mixture. You can bunch all of it back up again and see if you can roll it out again and make some more. Now that I've made my peppermint cream shapes, I'm going to put them on a plate and I'm going to put them somewhere to harden for about three hours. However, if you're not that patient, you can put them in the fridge for about one to two hours and then they'll be ready to decorate. Okay, scientists, my peppermint creams are now ready. They've been in the fridge for about two hours. And now it's time to decorate them. And I'm going to do that with some melted chocolate. Yum! However, this chocolate here is in the property known as solid. I'm not going to be able to drizzle that over my peppermint creams. I need to change its state of matter until it is a liquid. And I will do that 
follow a process called melting, which will be done through heating it up. Now, you can heat it up in a pan on the hob, or like me, you can pop it in a bowl in the microwave, but make sure you get a grown up to help you with this bit. Okay, my chocolate is now out of the microwave and it is in liquid form. Check that out. And what I can do is I can drizzle it over the top of my peppermint creams in different designs, or I can even dip them in like that to get a really cool effect. Now what will happen is, once the chocolate cools, it will harden again and return from a liquid to its solid state. Okay then, so we now have two plates of decorated peppermint creams with liquid chocolate. And this all happens because when you provide heat, the particles that make up a solid are given energy. And that means they start to vibrate and they break the bonds that hold them together, making a solid. As it cools, the object loses this energy and it starts to reform those bonds. However, it doesn't make the same shape it had before. And that's why we can mold chocolate into lots and lots of different shapes. And it's not just chocolate. In industry, you can mold lots of materials, which is why if you go out into the museum, you'll see cars in loads of different shapes. So there you have it. We've learned the science behind changing states of matter and we've found something to give Auntie Deirdre for Christmas. Unless, of course, you eat them all yourself. Mmm. Delicious. Keep your peppermint creams in an airtight container and make sure you eat them within three weeks. I think there's no danger of that with me. Have a very Merry Christmas from everyone at the British Motor Museum and thank you for watching. Bye bye.